my little yarnivores and spiderettes, Fiber Spider back again with another tutorial just for you. All right, so today I've got a lovely lacy blanket, and it is the Spider Stitch Blanket. Yes, now many moons ago, I did a shawl tutorial on the same stitch, and I thought, how can I tweak this? How can I make this into something different? Well, here we have the result. So the initial pattern actually, now we have one quadrant of our blanket right here, and it started at the very, very tippy tip, and it was working back and forth in rows. And then I thought, hmm, can I tweak that? So now, going in the round, we have a square blanket. It's lovely, it's lacy, and the repeat is really quite simple. Now, for this particular piece, I used, this is Pound of Love in Antique White. By the way, this video is not sponsored, but in case if you want to duplicate the results, have at thee. So Antique White in Pound of Love, and I used a size, uh, focus, kinda sorta, a size J, six millimeter hook. Of course, you can use whatever yarn and hook size works best for you, of course. Um, I would suggest, though, using a solid color because when you're doing your rounds, you don't want to have your little spider web motifs broken up. That's just my personal opinion. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using, again, Pound of Love, but this is the Oxford Gray. And yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. Round one. Okay, so starting off with a slip knot and a chaining of four. Slip stitch into that first chain to create a ring. Now you could use the, the magic ring method or any other method that you prefer, but I'm going with this for now. So from here, chain up three and into that center ring 11 double crochets and this first chaining up of three is going to count as our first double crochet so it's going to be a total of 12. So two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I'll just double count, of course. So two, four, six, eight. 10, 12. Perfect. Okay. So when you have your 12 double crochets, do a slip stitch into the top third chain of that first double crochet that we made. Right through there. And slip stitch. And of course, you can cinch up your initial tail and sew in your end, no problem. Well, that is round one. Okay, round two. Start by chaining up three for our first double crochet, and then into that same stitch right in there, we need two more double crochets for a total of three. So right into here. There we go. So we have our three double crochets in that same stitch, and this is actually half of the first corner. Now we need to sort of create a, an arch here, so chain four, and skipping one double crochet, and in the next three double crochets, So 
So we've got three doubles, chain four, three doubles with one skipped in the middle. Now, without skipping, in the next double crochet stitch, three doubles. So this is a full corner. It's two groupings of three doubles back to back. Okay, chain four. Skipping a stitch, going into the next with three doubles, and then three doubles in the next stitch. And that's going to be our second full corner. So I've got our three doubles, three doubles into the next stitch. Okay, chain four. Skip a stitch, going into the next with three doubles. Next stitch, three more doubles. Chain four. Okay. And skipping a stitch, going into this last double crochet stitch with three doubles. And that's going to finish up the first corner that we started on. And then to finish up round two, slip stitch into the top of that first chaining of three that we did. Slip stitch. And there you go. All right, so that is the end of round two. Round three. Okay, again, starting off by chaining up three and two more doubles in that same stitch. In fact, this is how you're going to begin every round with a cluster of three doubles right off the bat. So we've got our three doubles. So now we have to get to the next corner. So chain six. So it went from four chains to six chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then hopping across, skipping those first two doubles, going to that third double with three double crochet stitches. Okay, three doubles into the next stitch because we want to keep it consistent. And that is a full corner made. So three doubles, three doubles. Okay, chain six. Again, skipping, a, you know, doing the sort of a leapfrog to the, the third double crochet, three doubles into that third stitch. And then three doubles into the next stitch. Okay, so we've got three and three. Chain six. Leapfrog over to the third double crochet, three double crochets into that stitch. Three doubles into the next stitch. Okay, and we are almost done. So chain six one more time. And then 
three doubles into that third stitch, that third double crochet stitch, three doubles. Okay, and slip stitch to the top of the first chaining of three that we did. There we go. And that is the end of round three. Now, yes, it looks a little bit wonky and weird, but it will make sense as we keep going. So let's keep going. Round four. Okay, so again, start by chaining up three. Two doubles into that first stitch where we did our slip stitch. Sometimes it can be a little bit tight, but it is worth it in the end, like most of what we do. Okay, so we've got our three doubles. Now we need to, again, hopscotch to the other corner by chaining eight. Now I find that it's helpful, especially when doing long chains, to go sort of incrementally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then yarning over and grabbing that yarn over and then into that third stitch, three doubles. There we go. So we've got four, six, and eight. So two more doubles into that same stitch because we need our three. And then three doubles into the next stitch. There we go. Okay, so chain eight. Yarning over, going into that third double with three doubles. And then three doubles into the next stitch. Because you always want to have your two groupings of three at the corners. There we go. Pull out a little more yarn. Okay. Chain eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Into that third stitch, three doubles. And three doubles into the next stitch. There we go chain eight, and then into that third double, three double crochet stitches, and slip stitch to the top of our first chaining of three. There you go. And that is round four. Okay. Round five. Okay. So for round five, we need to start creating new little spider webs and start finishing up this one in the middle. So start by chaining up three, and two more doubles into that same stitch. Gotta have our first cluster. Okay, so now to create a, a new web, after doing your initial grouping of three, chain four, and skip 
a stitch going into the next with three doubles. And that creates the basis for a new web. That's what I'm going to call them anyway. Okay, so we've got the base. So now I'm going to gather up these three loops. So first off, chain two, and then going underneath the bottom one, and we're going to grab all three at the same time, we're going to do a single crochet. Now this may seem a little bit daunting at first, but after a while it's like old hat. So going underneath all three, and single crochet, all three together. Okay, chain two in that first double crochet, three double crochet stitches, chain four, skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles, okay, next stitch, three doubles, because we need our six at the exact corner, okay, then chain four, Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Okay, chain two, single crochet around all three loops. Chain two, three doubles in that first double crochet stitch. Chain four. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Next stitch, three doubles. Okay, so we've got our six, chain four. Come on. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Okay, so we have to do another chain two and grab. Chain two, three doubles into the next double crochet stitch. Now, if you're at all concerned about, oh, they look wonky, well, you know what? They will sort of adjust themselves over time. So do not worry about, do they look perfect? It's okay. It all comes out in the wash, as they say. So after doing your chain two and your three doubles, chain four. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Three doubles into the next stitch. Okay, pull out a little more yarn. Okay, chain four. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Okay, 
chain two, single crochet around all three loops. Chain two, three doubles in that first stitch. Chain four, skip a stitch going to that last stitch, that last double with three doubles. And last but not least, slip stitch to the top of our first chaining of three. There you go. And this is actually the full repeat. And this, believe it or not, is the edging that we're going to have. It's really nice and you know, sort of um, shell lacy, and I just, I really like it. It's very organic looking. So let's keep on keeping on. All righty. Okay, round six, chain up three, two doubles in the first stitch, There we go. Okay, again, we had the four, now we need six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So going to be doing three double crochets into the third double crochet of this second cluster, okay? So skipping these two, the chain four, and those two going to the last one right here with three doubles. And I made a mess of my yarn over, pardon me. There we go. So three doubles. Okay, now to bridge the gap over our our finished web here, chain one, and then into the first double of this cluster, three doubles, there we go chain six because we need to hop over this chain four. So chain six. And then into the third double crochet, three double crochet stitches. Okay, three doubles into the next stitch. Okay, chain six, because we have to leapfrog over this one. One, two, come on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into the third double, three doubles. chain one, scoot over our web here, and then into that first double, three doubles. So it sort of closes the gap a little. Okay, now we have to play leapfrog over this chain four, so chain six. And then into the third double, 
three double crochets. Three doubles into the next stitch. So again, we have our six leapfrog over this chain four with six chains. Into that third double, three double crochets. Okay. Chain one to bridge the gap. Three doubles into that first stitch. Chain six. Leapfrog over, third double, three doubles. And three doubles into the next stitch. Chain six. Leapfrog over into the third stitch, three doubles. Chain one to bridge the gap into the first stitch, three doubles. Okay, chain six. And untangle your yarn as necessary. There we go. Okay, so I did my three doubles, my chaining of six, and then into the third double, three doubles. And that is the end of round six. And I just still have to slip stitch into the top of the third chain. No big deal. We got this. There we are. All right. So we have completed one of our little spider web motifs, and we are halfway through creating two more on each edge. Alrighty. So let's continue on with round seven. Alrighty. So round seven, again, chain up three. Two doubles in that first stitch. There we are. Okay, so now we have to go into our eights again because we did four and six. Well, we need eight, and that is where this bridge comes in handy. Yes. So after doing your initial three doubles, chain eight, and then into that chain one gap, three doubles. Okay, chain eight. And then into the corner here, into that third stitch, three doubles. Three doubles into the next stitch. OK, 
Okay, so we've got our six, chain eight, Okay, and then three doubles in the chain one space. Chain eight. Into that third double in the corner, three doubles. Three doubles into the next stitch. Chain eight again. Okay, into the chain one space, three doubles. Chain eight. Scooting on to the corner, into that third stitch, three doubles. Three doubles into the next stitch. Okay. Chain eight. Three doubles into the chain one bridge. Chain eight. And then into the last corner, into that third stitch, three doubles. Okay, and of course, last but not least, slip stitch into the top third chain. Right in there, slip stitch, and there you go. So we have one finish down here, and then we've got these two. They're almost there. They're getting there. All right, let's keep going. Round eight. Okay, so because I have a feeling that you see where this is going, I'm only going to do two sides right now. So chain up three, two doubles in that first stitch. There we go. One more. Yes, it does get a little bit tight and fiddly in that first stitch, but it works. Okay, so since we have the eights, we need to create new little spider webs. So chain four, and then skip a stitch going to the next with three doubles. Chain two, single crochet around your three loops. Chain two, three doubles into the first. Chain four, skip a stitch, three doubles into the next. Chain two, single crochet around your three loops. 
chain two, three doubles into the first, chain four, skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Three doubles into the next stitch. And that is one completed side. So let's do that again. So we've got our corner here. We need a new eyelet here. So chain four. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. There we go. Because always, you know, you want to have symmetry going on there. So from here, chain two, single crochet around your three loops. Chain two three doubles in the first stitch, chain four, three doubles in the next, well, sorry, three doubles, chain four, skip one, three doubles in that third one, pardon me. Okay chain two, single crochet around your three loops again, chain two, three doubles into the first stitch, chain four, Skip a stitch, three doubles into the next stitch. And there you go. And then, of course, you know, three doubles into the next stitch because we need our six in the corners. Chain four. Skipping a stitch, three doubles into the next stitch. And that finishes up this corner. And that is how you would keep going with the rest of the round. So from here, after you have you know completed your corner here, you would chain two, single crochet around the loops. Okay, chain two, three doubles, chain four, three doubles, chain two, single crochet around three, the, the loops, chain two, three doubles, chain four, skip one, three doubles, three doubles, chain four, three doubles, chain two, single crochet around all three, chain two, three doubles, chain four, three doubles, chain two, single crochet around all three, chain two, three doubles, chain four, three doubles, and slip stitch. Okay, uh, for the sake of brevity, I'm not gonna do the rest of the round so that we can keep on going to round nine. Okay, and of course, if you need to, there are always timestamps. So if you need to rewind, replay, it's okay. All right, so I'll see you for round nine. Okay, round nine, start by chaining up three, two doubles in that first stitch for our first cluster. Okay, now we've got to play leapfrog over this chain of four, so we need a chaining of six. Okay, let's 
scoot over the chain four into that third stitch, three doubles. Okay, got to bridge the gap over our web here. So chain one, then into that first double crochet, three doubles. Leapfrog over the chain four, so chain six. Into the third double, do three doubles. Bridge the gap over the web by chaining one. Into the first double, three doubles. and leapfrog over the chain four with a chaining of six. Into the third double, do three doubles. Okay, three doubles into the next stitch. Okay, leapfrog over the chain four with six chains. Into the third stitch, three doubles. Bridge the gap over the web with one chain. Then into the first stitch, three doubles. Okay. Leapfrog over the chain four with six chains. Into the third stitch, three doubles. Okay, pull out a little more yarn. There we go. Okay, so have to bridge the gap over the web, chain one, three doubles into that first stitch. Leapfrog over the chain four, so chain six. Into the third chain, three doubles. And three doubles into the next stitch, because we're in the corner. And then leapfrogging over that chain four, so chain six. Okay. And you would skip over and then into that third stitch, three doubles. Ugh. There we go. Okay, so you would follow suit with doing what we've been doing for the rest of the round. So from here, you would cross over the web with a chain one, then three doubles, 
chain six to leapfrog, then three doubles in that third, chain one to bridge, three doubles, chain six, and then into the third, three doubles, three doubles, chain six, three doubles, chain one to bridge, three doubles, chain six, three doubles, chain one to bridge, three doubles, chain six, three doubles in that third, and then slip stitch to finish round nine. Okay. And it is looking so very pretty. Mm. Alrighty, let's continue. Okay, round 10. Okay, chain up three. Two doubles in that first stitch. There we are. Okay, now we had our four, our six, now we need eight again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then into the chain one bridge, three doubles. Chain eight. Into the next chain one bridge, three doubles. Chain eight again, after I pull out some more yarn. There we go. Chain eight, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then into the into the corner, into that third in the corner, three doubles, there we go, three doubles into the next stitch, because always in corners, you need your six doubles, three and three, like so. Okay, next side, chain eight, into the chain one bridge, three doubles, Chain eight, three doubles into the next chain one bridge, chain eight. Skip to the corner, into that third stitch, three doubles, and then three doubles into the next stitch. I think this is perhaps my favorite round because it goes so very quickly. However, I am going to leave you here so that you can finish it up on your own. I have faith in you. So from here, you would chain eight, three doubles in the chain one space, chain eight, three doubles in the chain one space, chain eight, three doubles in the third and the fourth, chain eight, three doubles, chain eight, three doubles, chain eight, three doubles in the third, and then slip stitch to that top third chain. And that would conclude round 10. Okay. Okay, last but not least, 
round 11. In fact, the repeat is rounds 9 through 11. So chain up three, two doubles into that first stitch. And this is where we create new webs. So chain four, skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Chain two, single crochet around the three loops. Chain two, three doubles into that first stitch. I can get this. There we go. Now, the reason why I say end on this round, round 11, is because I think it looks pretty. So after doing your three doubles, you chain four, skip a stitch, three doubles into the next stitch. Chain two, single crochet around the three loops. Chain two, three doubles into that first stitch. Chain four, skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Chain two, single crochet around all three loops, chain two, three doubles into the first stitch, chain four, skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Three doubles into the next stitch. Chain four. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Chain two, single crochet around all three loops. Chain two, three doubles into that first stitch. Chain four. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. Chain two. Single crochet around all three loops. Chain two. Three doubles into the first stitch. Chain four. Skip a stitch going into the next with three doubles. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Chain two, single crochet around all three loops, chain two, 
three doubles in the first. Chain four. Skip a stitch, going into the next with three doubles. Next stitch, three doubles. Chain four. Skip a stitch, going into the next with three doubles. And really, that's all there is to the rest of round 11, which would be your final round. And... There you go. So then you end up with a really nice decorative edge for your piece. Alrighty. Okay. Whew. All right, my dear. So after finishing round 11, as I showed, um, you would then do rounds 9 through 11 as many times as you want, ending on a round 11. So you have that really nice edge and just keep going until your blanket is big enough. Now, alas, I do not have a written pattern for this particular project, but you never know, it might happen. Um, and uh, yeah, so listen, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, if you did, give a little thumbs up button down below. You know I appreciate your appreciation. And you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to Stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.